This is evidence that uh, the illegal aliens mafia members contact um, the, some of the United States hospitals to uh, have them give uh, the illegal aliens mafia victims, the USA citizens that go into the uh, emergency rooms, um, no medication or uh, half or less uh, half of the medication that they need um, to fight the, their illnesses. Uh, so that way they assassinate them without um, being obvious. Uh, in this case, uh, in this sample case, uh, Luisa Oyarsun is a USA citizen who is a victim of the illegal aliens mafia and uh, she was given half uh, of the medication of the antibiotics that uh, she was supposed to be given at a USA hospital uh, as per the mafia's order and um, the dosage was supposed to be four um, times per day 500 milligrams uh, of antibiotics for seven days they gave her uh, two times per day 500 milligrams uh, for seven days so as you can see the illegal aliens mafia has uh, a lot of control over the uh, uh, USA's uh, hospitals and citizens and they have um, mafia members working at different hospitals so they are in charge of uh, assassinating the USA citizens whose identities, uh, social security and uh, pensions and government benefits uh, have been stolen uh, by the mafia and uh, the um, uh, illegal aliens that are working for this uh, illegal aliens mafia now uh, after they kill the uh, citizens uh, the illegal aliens members uh, of this mafia uh, can keep on using these uh, citizens the, these dead citizens identities uh, with no trouble or problems okay the doctor here was dr hoyt from riverside's uh, from yonkers St. John's Riverside Hospital in North Broadway and the medicine cabinet number three pharmacy is the one that provided the medicine. The, the illegal aliens uh, mafia also contact all the pharmacies that their victims have contact with so they can deny them the medication uh, and kill them or they can um, give them medication that will not do anything to their illness in um, that way they can kill them too. The phone number of the pharmacy is 914-327-4400.